Aloha. I'm Leela Hubbard of Nakoa Ikaika. And it's appropriate that I'm here because over 60 years ago, I was at the dedication of this heiau. And for most of my life, I've been part of the Hawaiian sovereignty movement and worked for the betterment of the Hawaiian people in various ways. I was involved with the fight on H3. First of all, when it was supposed to go through Moanalua, and th then when it was to go through Halava, and I set up the first protest against the Bishop Museum because I knew they were lying about what was there in Halava and Haiku and Luluku. We knew there were cultural treasures and they were setting them up to be destroyed and they did destroy them. Six foot walls, part of a heiau, massive irrigation systems, the, the biggest that they'd found and all of this was destroyed. We learned this through Buddy Neller, an honest archeologist, who said, even if something is destroyed, you can still learn a lot. And they could have learned a lot about the different types of agriculture by really studying the area. So we tried to save what we could um, in the area for future generations, and that's what we worked on for many, many years. I held a sign with a policeman as the trucks barreled by and the dust flew to say, save Kukuiokani, and it wasn't. It was destroyed by H3 because they, the archeologists said it was in one place, and McAllister, who is well known in the field of archaeology, said, no, it's in another place, and that is the place where the people of the area said Kukuiokani is. Kukuiokani is a major heiau. There were over 800 ivi um, in the heiau, which were back old and destroyed. Right now, there's drainage and electrical cords running through this heiau. And it meant a lot to me to be able to get to it. I wanted to be able to go uh, to uh, the heiau. And I can't, without a path being laid out. Um, I can't make it, you know, because I'm too old. And there are other people, um, other elders, kupuna, who would like to go, and we're being stopped. You know, so I think that's a dire um, adverse in effect. Another a adverse effect is, of course, what was destroyed with the actual uh, highway uh, through the area. So all the money was being drained from this project. Um, and we have money left, yes, but we had bigger visions than what are now on paper. Initially, we had set up our own idea of what we wanted and how the, the uh, grant was to be governed and how we would take care of this uh, cultural um, treasured areas. I suppose one of the positive things from uh, the Halava Luluku grant is the expansion of cultural knowledge because Mahilani Cipher is really doing a fabulous job of uh, spreading knowledge about Kaneohe and that area and really building support in the community. So I think that's great. If you can come up with a project that is really going to increase the economy here and give steady work to our local people, then marvelous. But otherwise, I'm pretty skeptical because I really thought this was more or less an 11 million pacification of the Hawaiian people and a farce, you know, because we had 
we couldn't move forward. The disaster of H3 happened because a major federal law was ignored, undermined, and deliberately misinterpreted. H3 was exempted from this national law, which would have preserved our natural and cultural treasures. Instead, through manipulation, much was destroyed in Halava Luluku. Act 106 stipulates that a project must be viewed holistically, that is, as one cultural landscape. We learned that vital lesson in HLID, from the mountains to the sea, that is how the area should be viewed according to the Historic Preservation Act. This is a contiguous landscape. I'm praying that what we planned, the cultural preserve, actually happens. That's what I pray. I would like to see our children learn more. I would like to see a formal curriculum set up so that um, we're teaching our children properly. I would like to see some of our customs and traditions carried on through education of our children and even our elders. We were put down. Our language was squelched. And now we are revitalized. And this, I think, is exciting. And if Halava, Luluku, and Haiku can work into this, then I think we've accomplished something great.